they fit in the right place, uh, um, which is uh, uh, earlier on in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. I am not worried uh, about the uh, position of the sulfonylurea ureas. Um, I've watched the sulfonylurea ureas, watch other classes come and go or accommodate them. This is the resilience. They're a great team player um, the, as, as a, a treatment um, uh, modality. So um, I have um, that they fit in well. Uh, they did fit well before, and I think even in the future, it, I would say it's like the bread and butter of, of diabetes treatment. You know, and you know, no matter what, you know, one changes in terms of their food with time, we always have the bread and butter as the staple for everyone. Most guidelines uh, recommend uh, the uh, established medication, let's call them, um, sulfonylurea and, and other classes, um, as second line. Okay? Uh, the choice is um, always left for the physician, and of course, above that is the patient themselves. Uh, they have a role, and this is one of the nice things that have happened in diabetes treatment, which is patient-centered approach. You know, you take, you know, you integrate the patient uh, wishes, circumstances. It's actually more important than the drugs themselves, in my opinion. So they fit in, uh, in most guidelines, I would say, in, in as a second line, third line, um, in, along the traditional. So it's up then to the doctor and the patient to decide based on any um, other clinical features or circumstances that would um, make the clinician decide, you know, leaning towards one class or the other, okay? So they are second line, most guidelines. I think that would be a fair statement uh, to say, you know, they have a role to play as second line therapy or a later, uh, of course. Of course they have, they have been tested. Um, <laughs> For many years, there has been kind of suspicions, and I would say mostly unfounded, uh, about the cardiovascular uh, risk with uh, some of the old sulfonylureas. And, uh, but now we have uh, more than one study, head-to-head -head comparisons uh, between the sulfonylureas and other classes. And guess what? They, the sulfonylureas came out uh, um, as safe as uh, any of the other drugs tested. Okay, so now that gives us uh, assurances about the cardiovascular safety of, of the sulfonylureas. They are safe. Um, there was um, many years ago, 1970, there was a, a report, but it wasn't uh, you know, the best of studies. That's what started it all. It's almost like a, it had been a, a stigma or a, a blemish on there. But we knew 50 years of diabetes care, clinical and research, we knew that you know, couldn't be substantiated. But now, with the, the, you're asking the cardiovascular outcome trial, that we had the proof that they are indeed safe from a cardiovascular uh, point, point of view. And I would also mention here, in reference to the uh, earlier question about the guidelines, they make a, di a distinction now between older sulfonylureas and newer sulfonylureas. Um, you know, the, the more uh, new generation or later generation uh, modern sulfonylureas. Quite a distinction in terms of uh, cardiovascular safety, in terms of the risk of hypoglycemia. Okay, the, you know, you get a different um, kind of uh, class if you look within the sulfonylureas when you use um, the um, second, uh, third generation uh, sulfonylureas and basically the modern sulfonylureas. They're safer in every way you could think of. Even, even by the way, even the issue of hypoglycemia which is how you know, the, the glucose lowering effect of the sulfonylureas. Even with that, you know, they are very rare uh, in terms of, you know, uh, very uncommon really to have severe hypoglycemia with the newer generation. So we can have now peace of mind in relation to cardiovascular outcome with the new trial, cardiovascular outcome trials proving that they're safe and also from a safety because of the structural changes over the years that we have a safer uh, modern sulfonylureas that we are comfortable to use. And it's always important to have peace of mind for yourself and for your patient, of course.
Well, uh, it's a great duo, the combination of metformin and sulfonary is. They always ensure um, stability in treatment. In our experience, they've proven to be effective. We've had patients on uh, metformin plus sulfonylurea for so many years. They're happy customers. Um, the uh, glycemic control is excellent. So you get the benefit of the metformin and of course the uh, powerful um, efficacy of the sulfonylurea. So it has it, the combined, they, uh, if you like, they help each other and bring stability to treatment uh, over the long term. And they are both nice and affordable treatment. I mean, to have something, I think we tend to forget, uh, overlook the, 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 the price, uh, the cost of uh, medications. So um, in terms of the metformin and sulfonaria, you know, you couldn't get a better value for money from a combination of drugs, as, as you would see with this, uh, you know, quick for diabetes, type two. I think if, you want, if, if people wanted to be fair to the sulfonylurea, then the future is bright. If, you know, if we look at the data, if we look at the scientific uh, trial, the recent scientific trials, if I can speak on behalf of the sulfonary years, you know, they would, you know, they would be saying, you know, well, we haven't done anything wrong. We, you know, what you see is what you get. Um, and, you know, our patients are happy. And now we're safe from a cardiovascular point of view. And with the newer sulfonary years, we have a very low risk of hypoglycemia. So it's a, a, a you know, to any fair-minded clinician, scientist would, 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 would hold, um, you know, that, that a bright future for, for the sulfonylurea years. Um, and like I said, Sophie, the, um, they are the bread and butter of treatment. We may get fancy things every now and then, and I've seen them come and go over the years, okay, or being accommodated. And the sylvanaires always were there um, to, to play their part.